quality is what sets you as an artist apart from everybody else around you. The higher your standards, the more you're forced to reach, the more you're going to grow. If you settle for status quo, then you as an artist will never grow yourself. That search for that for quality and constantly raising my own standards is how I improve as a creator and hopefully improve as a person. I identify who I am in my own mind with what I'm able to bring into reality. In conjunction with designing the actual fixture, I'm actually designing three, four, five, six, seven different tooling fixtures before I can even make the finished part for the original idea. And that perspective of trying to add as many levels of detail from a macro to the micro scale is indicative of my style. The act of creation in my life is a critical part of who I am and to remove that element and that process from my daily life would be very damaging. I want to see how far I can go. I want to see what I can complete and create. And to just really try to create things that no one's ever seen before.
My name is J.W. Kinsey. I'm entirely self-taught. Steampunk to me is a warm, inviting, creative environment to work within. I'm going to win Steampunk because I have a stylish beard and I can make anything. What I do as a sculptor is extremely difficult. Stylish beard, I am bringing polite annihilation. I will destroy you with a smile on my face, stylish beard, and a calm look in my eyes. Yes. Let's get to it. You're the actor, I'm not. <laughs> to take a look at the nominees for Best Art and Craft. The nominees for Best Art or Craft are... J.W. Kinsey's Artifice. Kendra Nicole Photography. Sienna Morris. House of Darkly. Art of Kudaman. And the winner is... Here we go. There you go. J.W. Kinsey's Artifice. I actually didn't think this would occur, so I really don't have a speech prepared. Um, thanks for my parents who joined me, my lovely wife, uh, Katie, and my son, Braxton and Tessa, and to the Lord who gave me these skills. So uh, thank you very much.